<laughs> Hi guys, do you have late payments on your credit report? Did you know a late payment can bring your score down between 12 to 97 points in one month? Well guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over what is called the isolation method. The isolation method can get your late payments removed between 30 days, guys. Guys, this video is gonna have a lot of meat and potatoes. Sit back, relax, grab a notepad and a pen because you're gonna wanna take notes So because we're gonna go over the isolation method. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and this is my lovely co-host, Miss Tina Talks Credit, guys. Welcome back to the channel, Miss Tina. I'm super excited about this episode. But before we get to the episode, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Miss Tina and I have been dropping straight fire um, these last couple of weeks, and we have not been getting the like and the engagement that we want, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience and allows us to leave the lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hi guys so if you have just been disputing your heart out and you're just tired of disputing and you need some help we are a credit repair company and I will be very much happy to take you on as a client however if you just have like some questions or if you're a credit repair company yourself and you just need like some quick answers to some hard questions please feel free to go to my website and sign up for our mentorship or leave your questions in the comments now, let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video. Guys, I'm excited about this video because I know that late payments can be literally a plague to a credit report. Now, you're going to have no derogatories, but you can have a credit card that you forgot that you spent, and that can bring your score down, like I said, almost 100 points in a month if you do not tailor it correctly. So, Tina, she is the mentors of mentors. She is your mentors mentor, and she has cooked up a sauce method that she personally invented that is called the isolation method guys every time i talk to this lady just flabbergasted about how she come up with these methods like i said i want you guys to take a step back and uh take some notes because this is going to be a lot to intake so before we get into the sauce if you want to do this method yourself go over to mycreditapproved.com and you can have all of the documents the full strategy will be inside the software you can go step by step as we go along in it but if you don't have time if this is a lot because it will be please hire miss tina just to, and her team to do would be respectful you being <laughs> flooded with requests and be patient with our staff as well be nice guys all right so let's dive straight in let's talk about the aspect of what we are going to do today so this is an outline for the disputing payment history um i want to go over the importance of it uh all. okay so understanding the importance of payment history the role and the credit worthiness the payment history is a, a crucial in determining credit worthiness it serves as a baseline for creditors when assessing a credit profile like i said guys payment history is the largest largest portion of credit that tailored to your entire score. It's up 35% of your score. So that's a big piece. So one late payment can really do a lot of damage. Okay, creditors focus on the recent history. Uh, when reviewing a credit profile, creditors look at first at credit scores and then closely examine payment history. Two-year focus. Yes, guys, creditors primarily focus on the most recent two-year payment history. That's true. Prioritization, concrete dispute efforts on recent late payments within the past two years. Avoid disputing late payments or than two years as a generally as they generally hold minimum weight in credit evaluations the isolation method now guys this is going to be a lot let's go over it. okay so identifying the recent late payments focus on we're going to talk about how to focus on late payments within the last two years for multiple late payments on one account use the isolation method to break up the dispute process this approach makes the dispute appear more realistic we're going to give examples and examples and i know that a lot of this look like foreign language right now but as we go on with a show we're going to break this stuff down actually i'm going to go over and allow miss tina to have full control okay guys so the isolation method is basically a more realistic and more heavy hitting approach to disputing late payments when you have more than two so for instance if you have like six late payments what you want to do is break it down into two dispute letters and do no three dispute letters and do two missed payments on one dispute letter and send 
send them to different credit bureau addresses. This way you get a more realistic dispute. It'll hit more harder and it'll get you better results. We do this with our company all the time and we get our clients deleted, uh, miss payments deleted. So I want to start by showing you guys a copy of a credit report. This is a credit report that we will be using. Okay guys, so this is a copy of just a screenshot of a credit report. This is what we're going to make our dispute letter out of today. So this is a Capital One account and as you can see it has five missed or late payments. Now I'm not going to create a dispute letter and just put all of these late payments on that one dispute letter and sit at the Equifax TransUnion Experian and expect to get results. Why? Right. Because this is an open account and just so you know it's more harder to get late payments removed from open accounts than if it were a closed account. So let's go ahead and get into some Metro 2 codes because we're going to use Metro 2 coding in our dispute letters to give our letters more effect. So the reason why we're using Metro 2. So I want to show you a dispute letter and this is a real dispute letter that I would be using if it were my client. So this is the good stuff that I'm showing you here. But first I want to let you guys know that I'm doing this on Credit Coach Q's awesome a software that I just had the privilege to actually use to create these dispute letters called my credit food. So mm -hmm. this software is a bomb. Like I've been disputing for like 18 years now and I love this software. I was able able, able to code in this software. So mm -hmm. hats off to you Q. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> as you can see like here, it's going to show all three of my already created dispute letters. So like if you end up using this software, the letter will be here for you to use. Okay. So of course you see a name, address, all that stuff. Okay. So guys, as you can see, here is my dispute letter that we're going to be using. I'm going to show you guys all three um, dispute letters. Now in this dispute letter, we're using Metro 2, field coding, and factual disputing. So you're going to see both in this letter. If you know me, you know I like to combine the two for a more impactful um, dispute process. So, okay, so here, this is going to be a first round dispute. So we have some kind of uh, subtle beginning to the letter. So here's the meat and potatoes. So here on the grid, as you can see, I'm only disputing two of those late payments. And for me, I like to start with the most recent payments. So I'm starting with January and December because of the two year payment history. So January and December. Okay, guys. So here is the letter in the software. So this is a round one letter. So it's not going to be too much verbiage there. And if you know me, you know, I'm not really big on a bunch of verbiage. But in this table here, you can see that I'm only disputing two of those late payments. In fact, I'm starting with the two most recent late payments. And here where it says reported information, this is what they are actually reporting. They're reporting that I am 90 days late and then they're reporting 60 days late here. Now, the Metro 2 code for 90 day late is code 3 under field, uh, Metro 2 code field 17B, which is the payment rating. So when using Metro 2, you're going to find your payment history under the payment rating field 17B, if that makes sense. And so code 3 is for 90 days. And as you can see here, code two under 17B is for 60 days. So the reason why I have this here in red is just for video purposes so that you know that it's for 90 days. When I send this letter out, I'm not going to put in it anything that's in red. All of that stuff is going to be deleted because e Oscar is going to pick up on field 17B code three. Okay, it knows Metro 2. It's designed to know Metro 2. So over here where it says correct information, we want them to put that it's paid on time. So that's how we want them to correct it update your credit report. So over here again, we have what the Metro 2 violation is. And as you can see, we have some Fair Credit Reporting Act violations and the violation explanation is here. And like I said, short and sweet to the point, that's how I roll with my letters. And uh, we talk to them a little bit about the law more. We give them 10 violations that they are violating with Fair Credit Reporting Act sections in it. And we end the letter. So same thing here with the Equifax, well, the Experian letter, same thing here. They're reporting the late payments the exact same way. So basically it's the exact same letter. I'm just trying to show off Q software a little bit here. Mm -hmm. So you can see like and, it feels good at making these letters. And I want to just, you know, to recap, I know you said verbiage that the channel probably never heard before, like the Oscar or Metro 2 per se. Now, um, to give you just a, a quick synopsis, e Oscar is the software that scans every letter that comes to the credit bureaus. It's mm -hmm. the software. It's not a person grabbing your letters. It's a software software in a um, system that scans every letter. That's eOscar. Now, Metro 2 is the language that eOscar uses to yes. read your letters. So instead of it reading
using account number is going to read AB749. And those are codes, quote unquote, languages for Metro 2. So this is a very powerful letter because you are communicating directly with the Oscar. You're not communicating like you're talking to a person. You're communicating directly with the Oscar. So the Metro 2 codes that you're putting in, that she is putting in to make this dispute in the My Credit Approved software is basically communicating directly with the machine yeah. to show them where they went wrong. Get yeah. all the fiber, get all the all the fluff out of the picture and you communicating directly with the machine. I just wanted to, to break that down. Yes. And so good job too. So if you are doing self-disputing, I just wanted to give you like a little bit of the Metro 2 codes. I don't want to just leave you hanging with just two Metro 2 codes for 60 day lakes and 90 day lakes. So um, like I said, it's going to be under field 17B. That's your payment rating. That's where your payment history is. So the codes for current, of course, is zero. You won't dispute that. So anything 30 days and above, it's where you're going to really start doing your codes at. So you're going to put Metro 2 field code 17B, code 1 for 30 day late, code 2 for 60 day late, and code 3 for 90 day late. 120 day late is code 4, code 5 is 150 to 79 day late, and code 6 and so forth and so on. Now, code G is for collection and code L is for charge off. So if you want to use Metro 2 and you're disputing that, then that's a whole other video that we'll talk about later. So don't pay that any attention there that I have that there. But those are going to be your Metro two codes for disputing your late payments. And yeah. uh, another thing that I want to do is just show you just briefly, and I'm sure that Q is going to put this like in the description or wherever he puts it. So when you break your disputes down, so you're breaking your six late payments down into three different letters, putting two late payment disputes on one dispute letter. We're going to give you guys some my best uh, result addresses that I use when I'm doing the isolation me method to send to the credit bureaus. So it's going to be like three or four for each bureau that I've handpicked and also I'm giving you the address to the credit bureau's legal department. So first round I wouldn't necessarily send to the legal department unless you've already disputed these things previously and you're getting that verified or it, something like that. But um, when you want to get aggressive always send your letters to the legal department and so those addresses will be there somewhere for you to catch those addresses and um, you'll get some good results. Like I'm telling you my clients are very happy with the late payments. I won't tell you that every single thing is going to fall off on the first 30 days because the credit bureaus are three separate companies for profit and they do not share information. So if you send your disputes out one month, it doesn't mean that like if you get two removed from TransUnion, you may get six removed from Equifax or four removed from Experian. It may toggle like that and you may have to do a second round. But this is a really great strategy that really works great. So full result time on maybe like the six late payments will be anywhere from 30 days to maybe 60 days and you should be good. Awesome. And I want to, I know guys, we talked about a lot and we put emphasis on a lot of different terminology or aspects that you probably don't understand. So leave it in the comment section. If you want us to break down a video specifically on the Metro 2, type in Metro 2 in the comment That's section. Fine. You want us to break down how Metro Metro 2 works with the, with the credit bureaus and how to simplify it. Type in Metro 2. Now, if you want us to break down how to give you a three month cycle inside the My Credit Approved software, showing you guys how to go step by step with the software, um, type in My Credit Approved in the software. I mean, in the comment section, we'll go over everything. I know that this is a lot. If you feel confident, go over to My Credit Approved. I'm going to put in the description a detailed step by step step tutorial on how to do it step by step in document form but if this is too much if you don't want to learn metro 2 and this is just a lot but you do need to get these late payments removed go to tina talks credit uh platform her information will be in the description as well and hire her and her team to do it don't mess up and just get it done expeditiously guys this has been an awesome series an awesome episode i'm super excited to continue to doing this like i said if you want to us to break it down leave it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe did you have anything else to say before we get up out of here i do real short 
about late or missed payments, um, a lot of people don't necessarily think that it's a big deal until they run into a snag where they can't get home or can't get something because of the late payments. And real quick, I just want to say this, like yeah. your payment history is basically what your credit score is all about. When a creditor looks into your credit report, they want to know what your ability is to make payments over time. That's all a credit report is. So the payment history is literally more important than your actual credit score in most cases. And yeah. guys, remember that whatever is in your credit report, the meat and potatoes is actually what makes up your credit score. So focus on what's within and, you know, the good stuff will blossom, meaning yeah. the credit score. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Like, we can't stretch it, uh, stress it enough. That's why we brought this information to the public because a late payment can do a lot of damage to your credit score, guys. And then a lot of people don't know how to tackle them because they try to dispute the entire account. And then they shut down, you know, they act the credit cards that you had for 10 years just because you had one late payment. You tried to get it removed. You did it incorrectly. So, guys, take this information. Hope you took a lot of notes, guys. Until next time, take care of your credit. Take care of yourself. Credit, what you got.